Trading212 is somewhat of a new investing platform out there in the UK now, but actually how good is it? Well, in this video, I'm going to actually show you how you can open an account with Trading212 and you can even get a free share. So if you're somebody who's looking to start invest, you're not really wanting to commit to any amounts of money, you just want to dip your toes in and understand the principles of the stock market and see how you get on, you can follow this tutorial with £1, get a free share by using my link below and you'll really see how easy it is to become an investor in the future. Hi there, welcome back to the Mama Fur Fur channel. My name is Jennifer and today we're focusing on the app Trading212. Now I make videos about personal finance and investing and I have had a lot of comments about my opinions on this particular app. And it is something of a new investing app and I thought what better way than checking it out and actually showing you how to open an account and start investing. Now Trading212 in particular offers a couple of really great features if you're a brand new investor. First of all, they have zero commission fees. They also have a zero fee fee overall for an investment ISA strategy. They have over 3,000 ETFs and stocks that you can pick from to actually invest in. And the great thing is as well, they've made it as user friendly as possible that you can actually have an investment ISA with them. So that's a particular savings account using the stock market to deposit money. Up to £20,000 you can deposit every single year and you don't actually pay tax on the increase of the profits or dividends you receive from your stocks. So a great first time option. But also they have a general investing account which I'm going to show you on this video how to open up, but the principles are just the same. And they even allow you to delve into some of the trickier aspects of the stock market if you're interested in being a day trader. So really it's an app for the majority of people allows them to easily navigate the stock market. And particularly in this video, if you're looking to just try the stock market, you only want to commit to one pound, a small amount, you can get a free share by using my link. So let's get cracking. I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually set up a trading 212 app account. Now, as always, a little bit of a disclaimer before we actually get kicked off. Remember, your capital is at risk if you start to invest. So that means that as well as the price is going up, they can go down. So this is where you're actually giving your money to buy a portion, a share in a company. So it's not the same as putting in the bank. And we have to understand that you're putting your capital at risk. Whatever you put in, you might not necessarily get the same amount out. So if you're comfortable with that, you want to start investing, by all means, follow this tutorial step by step. And if you're brand new to my channel today, I would love especially if you'd hit that little subscribe button. And even if you enjoy the tutorial, give it a thumbs up so somebody else looking for this information can find it in the YouTube algorithm. So as I said, I'm going to show you step by step using the app on my phone to actually set up an investing account. So this will be a general investing account as opposed to investment ISA. And the reason being for me personally, I already have an active investment ISA. I use Vanguard every single year to actually deposit in index funds and mutual funds with them. Therefore, I can't have another investment ISA that I'm actively placing into. So bear that in mind, if you're someone who has an investment ISA already with someone else, and so you also realise that outside of your investment ISA, you will need to actually pay tax on any profits or dividends you make from a general investing account. Really simple to do this, and once a year what you would do is fill out a self-assessment form. If you make over £2,000 currently of dividend profits, then you would need to pay dividend tax accordingly. So the Trading212 app actually offers a couple of different accounts. You might see on the next screen as well, we can have a general investing account, we can also have an investment ISA, and then we ha can have an account that's more technical, similar to eToro, we can actually do different levels of trading. So we're going to focus on the general investing account for this tutorial ahead. And through this tutorial, I'm going to show you by using £1, you can actually have an investing account. So we don't need to commit to $200 or any large amounts like eToro. From £1, you can have an investing account that you can use ongoing and also you can get a free share if you use my link below. Now the great thing about Trading212, they've made it a super simple for new investors and basically what they have done is they've set no commission fees at all, no trading fees. They also have access to over 3,000 ETFs and individual stocks and shares. So you're going to have a large selection there. There won't be all the companies in the world but the good majority of companies that you actually want to buy into. The other great thing is you can actually buy fractional shares. So as opposed to some other other websites, you would have to actually commit to the whole share in order to buy it. We can actually decide to buy a point of a share. So that means you only commit to the amount of money that you're comfortable with investing. So before we get started, here are the basic principles to get your free share that you can actually make use of. So it's a link below my link to them will allow you to be activated and know that you have been referred from my channel. The next thing you want to do is deposit at least one pound in the account. You then need to wait 24 hours and you will have a share given to you. Now, if you wish, if you're not happy, 
happy with the share or you simply don't want to invest and change your mind, after three days, you can sell that share. Now, after that time, you would have to wait 30 days to withdraw your money completely from the app, but that would give you a month to actually see how that share could have progressed if you had kept it. Perhaps even decide to buy another share with the money rather than simply take it out altogether. So here we are on the Trading212 app. Now, as you can see, first of all, they actually offer a virtual account as well. So they would allow you to practice similar way to eToro, where you could use pretend money, not real money, and practice picking stocks, shares, selling them, buying them. It's not real money, so you're not obligated to actually worry about what it's doing with that. Almost give you some confidence about what you're doing, perhaps in the future, with your choices. Now, the option we want to pick is obviously open account. Now, the great thing, of course, is Trading212 is in a majority of countries in Europe, as this app shows. So I'm going to choose the UK because that's where I'm based right now. Now, the next screen is just confirming your nationality right now. Then the next section is asking what your name on your passport is. So they're going to ask for an identification check in some way. Then the next section is all to do with tax purposes. So I ask you to confirm where do you actually pay taxes currently? And for me, that's in the UK. The next screen then asks in particular in the UK for your NI number. So hopefully you have that to hand and simply put it in there. And your NI number, of course, is linked to your tax and what you've been paying for your NI contributions. So again, it's just to verify who you are, who you've said you are before you actually start to invest. And then the next section is obviously to to do with your home address details. Now this next screen is actually where you choose what type of account that you want to open. I'm going to open an investing account rather than investment ISA. Because I have my investment ISA account already with Vanguard, I can't have two. However, this is your choice. If you're brand new to investing, you want to invest with one pound, you could obviously choose to have an investment ISA with them that you're actively paying into. We can also see that there's a choice of actually having a CFD account. Now that's something a bit more advanced than I cover, but generally that means perhaps trading in cryptocurrency, but more day trading, a little bit more of the advanced stock market terms and terminology will be found there. So I'd try to avoid that unless you absolutely know what you're doing there. So I'm going to click on an investing account. And the great thing to confirm as well, Trading212 obviously are offering zero commission, zero fees. So it really is ideal if you want to just dip your toes into the stock market from one pound and see what it would be like. And the next screen is where you pick the account currency that you actually want to pay in. I'm going to use British British pounds, but you could use US dollars or euros accordingly. Now the next section again is very personal, but they want you to estimate actually how much is your annual income. You can choose the relevant amount there. The next screen is all about your value of savings and investment. So you put in the approximate value as well. And then they also want you to confirm how are you actually going to fund this account? Where are you getting effectively your income? And for me, that would obviously be a salary. The next screen is to do with your employment status. So really simple, choosing if you're employed, self-employed, unemployed, retired. So plenty of choice there accordingly. And the next screen will be, what do you roughly do for a living? So in that section, I'm actually going to put, I'm a sales executive because that's what I am in my day job. Next section is asking you what industry you're in. So lots of choices there. For me, I'm in the IT industry, so I'm going to choose that one. And then the next one is our declaration to make sure we've read and understood the terms and conditions. Now, I will say if you're brand new to the stock market, to using investment apps or platforms in general, if this is perhaps the first time you're investing, please do make sure you read all the documents accordingly. There will be a lot of information about your risk factor that's involved, perhaps any conflicts of interest that might be there, terms of conditions and actually using the app. Make sure you understand them so that you're aware that the value of your investments can go up and down. You're fully accepting of what that involves to actually invest in the stock market and clicking on I confirm to progress. And there we have it. My account has been activated. I can start to invest it for free. Now, obviously, in this case, I will also receive a free share after a day. And you can do that, too, through using my link below. Now, the next section is where you actually put money in. And as I said, for you to get your free share, you need to deposit at least one pound via a debit card. And there we go. I managed to do that in the space of a couple of seconds, fill in my card details. And that is now my account open. So the first screen that you will see, and if we tap on the information, is you'll see a full range of different stocks that potentially you could be watching. On my screen right now, you can see there's Tesla, there's Apple, there's Amazon, and the different amounts of money. And I'll go into this in more detail, but essentially the prices that you see are the price you would need to pay to actually own a full share. It'll also give you a brief outline of how the stock's been doing. The great thing as well, bear in mind, you can actually own fractional shares. So that means you can own part of the share. So how much ever you want to commit to a pound, 10 pounds, 50 pounds, you can do that there. There's also popular shares. So on this particular page, I can see Uber, I can see Peloton, which is a cycle company if you wanted to buy in them. Netflix, Tesla's obviously there. We've got US stock. So right now there's obviously a lot of drive for Nike, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Walt Disney right now as well. You can have UK stock. 
stocks, so some of the key ones you might want to buy from the UK stock market, and then it's further divided into different sectors. So there's a whole host of information there that you can actually drive right into. Now I'm clicking on the new to trading 212 app, and there's some of the cheaper stock prices in here. Perhaps if you just want to buy a stock of a company that you've heard about, you're quite passionate about, you can do that there. The other thing to bear in mind is because this also has the option of ETFs, boom, this is the page that I'm most passionate about. Vanguard's S&P 500 is straight there. You've even got the FTSE 100, the FTSE All World. There's a whole host of information and different ETFs that you can choose from. And the great thing about ETFs, these act as if they are shares. So you can trade them at any point in the day, very much like an actual company share. This could be the key way that you can spread your money and diversify it. What I would say is check out my other videos that are about the difference between index funds, mutual funds and ETFs. Understand how they work, the differences, and then you can check out my dividend investing for beginners video. That's a great video if you want to learn how to pick an individual company. Now there's two main strategies that we can use the stock market for, a growth portfolio or actually a dividend portfolio. Growth means basically we're buying stocks that potentially don't pay a dividend payout, those funds to be worth more over time, then we can withdraw a little portion of our portfolio to live off as an income. Dividend stocks on the other hand, we would actually get a payout from that company perhaps once a quarter, once a year, that we could actually live off as well. So that would be an income straight to us. And as I said, with my particular account with Trading212, this is a general investing account, I will need to pay tax if I go above £2,000 of dividend payouts or profits every single year. So bear that in mind. So for the next part, let me show you how easy it is to actually buy a fractional share. So I have that £1 and a company that I'm particularly interested in right now, we have just bought Disney Plus. I'm actually going to buy part of a share of Walt Disney and show you the process actually involved with that. So you simply click on the share and then you would hit the buy. Now obviously bear in mind we do not have enough money in my investing account right now to buy a full share. Right now the full share price is $101.02. Now obviously that is a decrease from what it's been the previous day which is why it's saying it's gone down minus 0.33% at close which is fine I'm not worried about that I'm going to hold on to it for the long term and simply what I would do is you can check out the past information screen company details you can check out employers information where they're based whole host of information. The P&E ratio is another great guide of the profits to actually the earnings, an indicator of how they're doing overall. The dividend yield, so this pays a dividend of 1.74% right now. So that is giving you some information to bear in mind. So this is a dividend paying stock. So I'm going to hit buy. So basically what you can't have is you can't have over 95% of the amount of money on one share. So because I've only got a pound, I can't go over 95 pence total. So I'm going to buy 81 pence equivalent of a Disney share and that works out as 0.01 of a Disney share. So I'm going to set that as review order. And then that's the final screen review that I want to buy it. The commission is free and I hit send. Now obviously if you wanted to top up further you would go into the little icon here and you would click on to further deposit funds. And then this section here in the second little tag along you can actually see your investments waiting and that's got a buy request so that will happen at some point today. Trading 212 certainly gives you a great option. If you're a beginner you're looking to dip your toes in, get a free share using my link but also play around and see those fractional shares, what you perhaps want to dip your toes into. But bear in mind, as I said, with individual stocks and shares, there is a risk associated that that company could go down and lose your money. When we actually put into ETFs and index funds, we're spreading our wealth in a better way. So bear that in mind before you start investing. So I hope you really enjoyed today's video. It really is so simple to use Trading212. Certainly for me, I use a kind of multi-strategy approach. I have Vanguard for my investment ISA. You could use Trading212 if you wanted to do that in a really easy way as well. I use eToro though because there are a lot more complicated things I like to analyse and work out from most of my stocks and shares, individual ones that I buy. But trading 2 and 2 for me, giving that option of parts of shares is really great. Also for just the odd share that you might actually want to buy. So I wish you all the best on your investing journey. I hope this video has been really useful for you. As always, I'd love if you would hit subscribe on my channel. I will obviously cover a lot more topics about investing in the future. I think you would really love them. I talk about everything about how to use money as a tool to design your life, investing strategies, even success mindset with your money overall. So be sure to hit subscribe if that sounds of interest to you. And especially if you have enjoyed the tutorial, please do give it a thumbs up. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon.